Basically, the bar just tells the truth. There's no rewritten history or anything. It is just, you know, it's the truth and that's it. First and foremost, it's, a, it's an artwork with a interactive features and a story. Every object has a reason for its, for its existence. Though maybe it doesn't have a, a reason to exist in a modern society, it will still exist here. And again, Leon Stark. My grandfather started this in the early 70s. And there are some stories about how it, how it became, but in a way, I wasn't around for the beginning, obviously. I know from a friend of mine, which actually works with me. He was uh, studying in the School of Fine Arts in Iceland. And Peter came there to, to teach a class. And he asked the people in the class, the first thing he asked them was, can I turn this classroom into a bar? Every bar is a unique uh, piece. And they all, all involve separately, but they are all linked. So the videos and the screens are for the, from the different locations, different installations. So they involve with the space they're installed in. They get stretched into rooms or they get cut up and squeezed together into small confined spaces. So they adapt and but they always serve the same function. The selection of the parts is a trade secret, but I'll share you share with you a little bit of the ins inside of this. You know, these are lost objects which have been thrown out of society. It's also a careful selection of the objects because it's in a way a painting, but you're painting with objects instead of only canvas and colors. For me, it is very important to use local sources of material to give kind of the feel that it's also from here. It is not just a production which was made somewhere else and installed. You know, sometimes you have to squeeze hard to get use out of things. It's like a circle of life, you know? You consume, you throw away. But for us, it's more like we consume, but we don't throw away, we recycle. For example, above the photo, there is a, a box with, with uh, rotaring pens for drawing, which was given to me by my grandfather when I was a kid. There is uh, boxes here with glasses and stuff are from my father. This is like a typical assembly of what a tourist would buy and then throw it away. There's miscellaneous tools and objects which have been used. There are files here, registration, documents about our cars in Iceland, things which have been used before and forgotten, outdated equipment, but most of these things have a personal connection. An object is something in your mind because you were told and you learned through your life what function it has. Then when it's a part of an artwork, it is something totally different. And then there is the question of when you are enjoying the artwork, sitting at the bar, having a meal or a drink, are you then a part of the artwork or not? In bars, we can have an intimate conversation 
this piece here is a standalone social sculpture to, to be here for at least 10 years, like a permanent installation. The, the content which is on the screens tells a very important story. This is like the life of the bars. It's an endurance performance. And certainly the people which are working on the installation become a part of that endurance performance. And that, that continues. <laughs> there are actually is now a fully functional Roth bar in New York City, new 18th Street location. That bar was originally installed the old Roxy roller skate disco in 18th Street. It was moved from there to the DIA building on 22nd Street and was installed there as, as a fully functional bar. And now we have revived it and installed it again in 18th Street. So over a period of 12 years almost, this thing has grown organically in the States by being dismantled and installed again and again. It's also a painting and you have to think about it as you're painting with objects. And these are shapes, sizes, straight lines, but they're objects. And they, though in their former life, they had a function. That function has nothing to relate to where they're placed or what they, they're, they're merely a shape or a size. And then object, which is also has its history. You have to do it by feel every time. Otherwise, you know, it's a movie set. Things happen very much organically. You have to stay away from planning because then things will be staged. This should happen spontaneous and by itself. We don't do inventories, we don't do plans, we don't do budgets, we just do art. We keep a healthy stock of material ready to ship wherever. Some of it is in storage with the gallery, some of it is in our storages, and some of it is yet to be found. And the bar will sustain itself as long as you have people willing to drink alcohol. And I guess that will go on for some time more.